Hey Dio, welcome back to Coding Stuff. So this is fifth and the last part of our to-do app using SQLite database tutorial. And in this video, we'll add two features to our application. That is, uh, by swiping, you can edit the task or you can delete the task. And also, I will provide source code in the description box. So if you have some error, you can always check with that. And after this tutorial, I will create more tutorials like uh, we'll create calculator app and also I will upload firebase tutorial and we'll create this to do app using firebase uh, logic will be same we'll just use uh, this firebase database instead of sqlite database so let's start here by creating new class so we'll click on java and first package name and right click and new java class we'll name it as recycler recycler view touch helper and this will extends to item touch helper dot simple callback and we'll press alt enter here to implement some methods on new on move and on swiped and also we'll press alt enter again to create constructor and we'll just delete uh, these comments from here okay now we'll create one instance of our to-do adapter. So private to-do adapter, we'll name it as adapter. And instead of this uh, drag direction and swipe direction, we'll pass here to-do adapter. So this dot adapter equals to adapter. And drag direction will be zero because we are not dragging anything. We are just uh, we are just swiping to the left side and to the, to the right side so item touch helper dot left or item touch helper dot right okay if you are you are having some problem to understand this item touch helper you can check out the video in the i button in that video i have explained how to use item touch helper in the recycler view Okay, so we don't have to implement this on view method. So we'll jump to on swipe method. And first we'll collect the position of the selected or swiped task. So final we'll name it as a position. And we'll use this, let, sorry, uh, let me write data type. So final int position. And then we'll use this view holder dot get adapter position. That's it okay so now we'll check if if the direction is equal to right or left so direction equals to item touch helper dot right and we also implement else part so else okay now we'll uh, jump to if condition and first we'll create one alert dialog so alert dialog dot builder we'll name it as a builder equals to new alert dialog dot builder and here we have to pass the context so for that adapter dot get context okay now we'll set the title so builder dot set title and title will be delete task and then builder dot set message so message will be are you sure And then question mark then you have to set positive button and negative button so builder dot set positive button and first parameter we have to pass the text so it will be yes and here we have to write new dialog interface dot on listener so what will happen if we click on this yes and let me put here semicolon okay so if user clicks on this positive buttons mean yes if he, he want to delete the task so we just have to call our adapter so adapter dot delete task and here we have to pass this position parameter from here okay and we'll also set negative button so builder dot set negative button and the text will be cancel and we'll pass your new dialog interface dot on click listener and let me put semicolon here okay and then we just have to notify our adapter that item has been changed so notify item changed and he will pass position that's it okay 
and after this uh, we have to show this alert dialog so for that we'll create one dialog alert dialog we'll name it as a dialog builder dot create and then lastly build dialog dot show that's it now we'll jump to else part and here what we have to do we just have to call the edit task method for more adapter so if user drag to the left side he will be able to edit the task so adapter dot edit item and he will pass position that's it okay so if user swipe to the right side he will be able to delete the task and if user swipe to the left side he will be able to edit the item okay now we'll just call this method in our main call this class in our main activity so in our main activity just after this fab button we'll create one item touch helper we'll name it as item touch helper equals to new item touch helper and here we have to pass our new recycler view touch helper okay and here we have to pass the adapter so adapter and then item touch helper dots attach to recycler view and here we will pass our recycler view so m recycler view that's it now we'll check our app is working or not so we'll click on this run button and we'll wait till it get installed so okay it has been installed okay so if I swipe it to the left uh, left side, bottom sheet is popping uh, popping up and it is asking me to edit the task. And if I swiping it to the right side, alert dialog is popping up and it is asking me to cancel or save. If I click on save, task will get deleted. Okay, so you can see we can swipe it, but uh, we have not provided any icon or background color. Means we have not decorated it. So we'll do do it now. So we'll just minimize this and. Uh, over here we just have to override one method that is on child draw so on child draw okay before that we'll just uh, create some let me increase the size so we'll click on resource drawable and we'll create some vector assets so vector assets and here we have to add delete and edit so we'll search for delete and we'll select this and just change this name okay and then we'll add one vector asset for editing so we'll just click here and search for edit okay this one finished so now we have to implement this uh, on child draw method uh, we can do it manually but instead of that we'll use one library because it's a bit of code and it's a bit of complex so we'll use one simpler te simpler techniques so i founded one library in github i will i'll post uh, this link in the description box so you can also check out so this is the implementation we'll just copy this part from here and we'll paste it in our dot gradle file okay just after this and we'll click on sync now and then we'll find uh, then we'll find how to use this library so this one so we'll just copy this code from here and we'll paste it just up uh, just before this super on draw on child draw okay over here we have to import this class so press alt enter to import this and we'll delete this add action and add background color okay so here we have to add swipe left background color uh, means editing the task so we'll just pass here context compact dot get color uh, adapter dot get context and then we'll pass r dot color dot that is color primary dark okay and then add swiped action icon okay and here we'll pass r dot drawable dot or edit icon this one 
and then add right background color and this will be red so color dot red and then add swipe right action icon and he will pass r dot drawable dot ic baseline delete this way okay so now we'll run our application and check it's working or not Okay, so if I swipe it to the left side, so the background color is color primary dark and we can see the icon and we can just edit it. So let me write this task one and save. Okay, and we can also delete this. So just swipe it to the right side. If I click on cancel, it will be restored. And if I click on the yes button, so it will be deleted. Also, we can add new task here. So this is working perfectly. You can add many more tasks as you want. So that's it for this tutorial and make sure you subscribe to the channel for upcoming tutorials. Uh, I have already said I will post more tutorials on like calculator app and Kaibus tutorial. I will be posting project based tutorial because you learn when you create. Okay. So stay tuned and make sure you subscribe to the channel. So thank you for watching.